Hello my beautiful Aries and welcome to your late November love reading. I hope you're doing well. Um, based on the pre-shuffle, it kind of looks like someone's getting the short end of the stick in a connection here. I don't know if it's you or your person. I feel like you could be um, getting the short end of the stick, but let me know in the comments. The reason being is the first card out was the Three of Pentacles, which is kind of like a transaction, right? Sometimes it can be an agreement, a contract, because it's, um, it's multiple parties working towards a shared goal, right? The next card was the Justice in the Reverse, which talks about unfairness and imbalance. Um, when I clarified with the Oracles, they kind of confirmed it. We got parental love. So this card says there's a parent and child role dynamic in a connection. Um, so it, it could be that, you know, the two people involved aren't meeting each other as equals. It kind of appears like one person just wants to have fun and let every, let their person take care of the day-to-day -day matters and responsibilities and burdens, you know. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This can be, sorry, Ten of Wands in the reverse. This can be laziness. So I'm getting possibly your person's being lazy and you feel like you have to do the emotional heavy lifting in the connection or just the heavy lifting. It doesn't even have to be emotional. It can be you have to pay all the bills, you have to make things work and this person's just coming along for the ride. It's kind of like they're the passenger, right? Um, they just want fun, they want play, um, and um, they're not putting in enough work. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Um, hmm. So that's what I'm getting from the pre-shuffle. Let's have a look and see what else we can get for you. deck do I want to use? Let's do this one. Angels and Spirit, what are the messages for Aries in love? What are the messages for Aries in love in late November 2021, please? It's kind of been, um, it's kind of been a bit of the theme for Aries for for a time because the last couple of readings I recall uh, maybe your person was concerned about you know there being inequality when it comes to spending when it comes to finances within the relationship maybe they were concerned that you know you were kind of not matching them in that regard it can be flipped you know this is a general reading by the way so the energies can be vice versa See what are the messages for Aries in love in late November 2021, please. So we've got a card here that is implying that one person isn't learning their lessons. It's like they're immature, they're refusing to um, pull their weight. Yeah, we have out of touch. Someone's ego is getting in the way here. Um, we have sexual desires. There could be a strong physical connection here. But we do have toxic behavior. So nothing really else is jumping out at me. Let's see what another deck can, can um, give us. Let's see. I'm going to do the simple love advice, actually. advice for Aries in love late November 2021 please the 
Yeah, see, we've got the thank you card. So someone's doing all of the work, doing all of the giving. Um, feeding the other person. Now, this can be in multiple ways. It can be energetically, it can be emotionally, financially. But it's coming at the other person's expense. And love should never be draining. This card is saying love is precious to yourself and others. Be aware of who you give it to. So again, I'm getting, you know, give and take. There's an imbalance here. Okay, here we go. All right, so it may be Aries that you need to have um, um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. You need to speak up. We have say it. So you might need to assert yourself, speak up for your needs. You know, it can be awkward. It can be uncomfortable. But, um, yeah, this card is saying speaking your truth is hard to do in any situation, but holding it in will never help. You know, when we feel like we're, do we're doing all of the giving in a connection, and we, we don't tell the other person what we expect of them in return. Um, we just carry resentment and it's kind of like it poisons us. And the other person, you know, just carries on uh, oblivious and it builds and it builds, right? This resentment and it festers. So this card is saying when both parties are open and honest, the right discussion can take place. So have courage to speak your truth. Look, I can't make this up. We have unbalanced. It says it can be true that not everyone gives as they receive. Do you get as much as you give? Do you give as much as you take? You might be feeling unloved, but don't overcompensate to try to balance the relationship. You can't reach out to another person in the hopes that they will reach back. You need to step back and see where the relationship comes into balance. Remember that you deserve to be loved and appreciated by the people around you. So think about how is this connection unbalanced? Think about it in a holistic way, emotionally, financially, physically. Who's doing all of the giving? Who's doing all of the taking? Or where are there some, where, where is there um, pockets of unfairness? You need to be clear about your needs and expectations. Okay, we've got clear intentions. Um, take control of your life by honoring your feelings and setting clear intentions. And you've got square hole, round peg, don't force things. So it could be that, that, you know, you need to have this heart to heart conversation and you need to have boundaries in place, but, you know, speak your truth in a respectful way. Don't be demanding. That's what I'm getting from that card. Let's have a look and let's get into your person's head a little bit more. All right, let's see. Angels and Spirit, show me. What's going on for Aries person, please? What is going on for Aries person? Late November 2021. What is going on for Aries person? seeing some kind of arg an argument this person is kind of they are aware um, because we've got a card saying I don't think sorry is going to be enough I'm planning to su surprise you with something better so they know that they need to pull their weight um, and they're planning on not just apologizing but making up for it They might make up some some lies about why they weren't able to meet you halfway or treat you fairly, okay? Because we have, I need to dilute the truth with a few lies. I don't want to upset you. Hmm. 
we do have some codependence here someone being needy and expecting the other person to um uh fill some kind of void we've got a card here saying don't be needy i want to challenge you to become independent and feel free in our relationship but that could be you towards your person i am picking up on laziness I do feel like your person could be lazy and this card says I don't want to change any anything to make this relationship work. So selfishness and laziness are getting in between the two of you. Okay. I think they're the, the main challenges that you're facing in relationship right now. Hmm. And it's kind of like your person is always making you jump through hoops. We've got a card here saying it's going to require that you fight for my love and affection. I get a lot of attention, so if you don't want to, it's okay. It's a very entitled mentality, which I really don't like. So let's have a look at um, this deck here, which is another good deck. When it comes to advice, this can apply for singles as well. So, Angels and Spirit, what is Aries' advice in love? In late November 2021, please. this like I seriously cannot make this up you've got set and maintain healthy boundaries okay so it says um you should communicate your standards and boundaries in a respectful way i literally just said that equip them with the necessary tools and knowledge to successfully pursue you or sustain a relationship with you so you need to help them by communicating um what you expect Interesting, because we did get a card about, you know, sexual chemistry. We've got, don't use sex to bring them closer. So it says, don't confuse sex with the, the same kind of currency. Oh, sorry, don't confuse sex with some kind of currency. Remember at the very beginning, you got the three of pentacles, and I said it's a card about transaction. So it could be that um, your person tries to um, make up for their whatever they're not giving by giving you sex uh i don't know uh, but but sex is being treated as some kind of currency in this connection so just be aware of that Here's some male Aries saying, I'm not complaining. <laughs> you know, um, if they want to buy me with sex, then go for it. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's not a healthy behavior. Okay. We've got your independence is a turn on for them. Okay, so there's there's got to be less codependency in general in this relationship and more independence. You have to love each other in a way that makes you both feel free. You're, you're, you're your own person and your um, partner's their own person. So you need to kind of have a healthy independence, right? Okay. One more. Okay. You need meaningful conversation here. 
um, instead of little jabs here and there, like out of frustration and resentment, there needs to be a, a proper sit down conversation. That's what I'm getting from this card here. Um, All right, you've got a card here saying don't run away just yet recognize that all relationships have their ups and downs the tough times won't last forever let love prevail so it says ride it out and keep charging forward so don't give up on this person give them a chance to um, make it up to you to make things right and like make this connection fair and equal okay so i hope that this uh, reading was helpful aries please don't forget to like subscribe comment below it really helps when you engage with my content um and i'll see you guys next time bye